Mark Alexander Knox, better known as Flex Alexander, didn't have it easy while growing up. In fact, the cards were stacked against him from an early age. Instead of continuing to head down the wrong path, he decided to make some major changes, and that included finding a wife. He had no idea the woman living in his apartment complex would turn out to be his soulmate. Here's how Flex's life journey led him into the arms of Shanice Wilson. Flex was born on April 15, 1970, in the Bronx, New York. He was the youngest of four children born to Alethea Knox and Robert Whitehead, a bass guitarist who passed away in 1989. Flex only saw his father three times his entire life. In an interview with People magazine, he described his dad as a rolling stone and said, he was a guy who was searching, but I don't think he knew what he was searching for. His mom was forced to work three jobs in order to support their family. And after Flex's brother Dwayne turned to the streets and got hooked on substances, Flex left home too at the age of 15. He became a street hustler, sleeping on subways and doing almost anything to make a living. In 1988, everything changed after his friend lost his life in a confrontation with a rival dealer. And Flex found himself in a similar situation. Thankfully, when the dealer put his weapon to Flex's head, it jammed. He knew it was time to leave the streets behind. He got hired to dance in New York clubs. With his acrobatic and breakdancing skills, the six foot four entertainer earned the nickname Flex. After getting discovered by salt and Peppa's DJ Spinderella, he toured with the group for three years and later choreographed for some big names in the industry, including Queen Latifah and Mary J. Blige. Many noticed how funny he was and they encouraged him to get into comedy. After developing a stand-up act where he would impersonate everyone from Jesse Jackson to Homer Simpson, Flex made his comedy club debut in 1989. The crowd went wild and Flex the Comedian was born. He moved to Los Angeles in 1995 and like most people who moved to the city, he gravitated toward the film and television industry. He landed a few roles in some shows, but they didn't perform well. After seeing LL Cool J combing a young girl's hair in a soft drink commercial, he got the great idea to develop his own television show. He hired a writer and produced a pilot episode in 1997, but he would come face to face with a devastating tragedy before getting a taste of sweet success. While working on developing his television series, Flex received a phone call from his brother, Dwayne. He told the Oprah Winfrey Network he was trying to rush his brother off the phone. The next evening, he received a phone call that Dwayne had passed away from AIDS. Since that day, he carried an enormous amount of guilt for not having the chance to say goodbye, and he held on to that pain for many years. In 1999, Flex got his big break when UPN loved his pilot. The show One on One hit our television screens in 2001, launching his career as a primetime superstar. Things were looking up in all areas of his life, but things got even better when he met I Love Your Smile singer. Please welcome Shanice Wilson to video. So welcome, my dear. I'm so glad to be here. Look, Jess is beautiful in person as you're doing all your photos in the video. Thank you. They lived in the same San Fernando Valley apartment complex. Shanice told the Huffington Post they ran into each other in an elevator. And although they were familiar with each other's work, they didn't really know each other. Either way, they exchanged numbers and became fast friends. They would spend hours chatting about life. And during one conversation, Shanice told Flex she had been praying for her soulmate. One day when she was about to go on tour with NSYNC, Flex went to her rehearsal and told her, you know, you've been praying for your soulmate, but your soulmate could be staring you right in your face. Shanice said she was stunned and then it finally hit her. She said to herself, wait a minute, he has a good point. I think this is my soulmate. As their relationship blossomed, Shanice said Flex, who had become a born-again Christian, was always very respectful and never tried to put the moves on her. They made the decision to remain celibate until after marriage, but their courtship wouldn't last very long anyway. He invited Shanice to church and the pastor was talking about, quote, ghetto engagements. 
Janice explained to the Oprah Winfrey Network that the pastor was fed up with couples having five and six year long engagements. So he came up with the name ghetto engagement to describe those who were dragging their feet on the way to the altar. Once they left church, they jumped into the car and Flex looked at Shanice and said, let's just do it, let's get married. They had only been dating for three months at that point. Flex said it was his way of testing the waters to see if she felt the same way before he purchased a ring. At first, Shanice was stunned, but she agreed to get married. Make it last forever. Ever. Being a comedian means he's always finding ways to bring laughter into their lives. Even when he proposed after four months of dating, he turned it into a way to put a smile on her face. Shanice told Jet Magazine that before getting down on one knee, he jumped on a table and started singing, You Are So Beautiful To Me. On Valentine's Day 2000, they got married. On their wedding night, Flex was finally ready to seal the deal, but Shanice was a little apprehensive. She told the Oprah Winfrey Network that she went into the bathroom for about two hours while Flex waited on the bed. She said she was terrified to get down to business because it was going to be the first time they were intimate. With a popular Mad Cobra song on repeat, Flex was so tired of waiting, he passed out on the bed before Shanice could even grace him with her presence. Her timidness didn't last long, and within their first year of marriage, Shanice got pregnant. What should have been a happy time in her life turned into sadness. She had just released her fourth chart-topping album with LaFace Records. She flew out to New York and had a meeting with a major exec who said he was looking forward to her upcoming project. When she flew back home to LA, she received a surprising call from the label, saying they were going to drop her and let her, quote, be a mom for a while. Shanice was five months pregnant at the time and completely devastated. She wanted to be a mom and still be a successful singer, and she felt like that opportunity was snatched away from her. She eventually bounced back and started her own label. It also helped that Flex remained by her side during all the changes in her career. It wasn't the only test they would be faced with. They welcomed their second child in 2004, and in 2006, One on One was canceled after five seasons. With Shanice's music career also in limbo, the couple went through intense hardships. They were able to survive on residual checks from reruns of the TV series, and Shanice's record sales kept them afloat for a while. But within a few years, it was clear they were in trouble. With all their monthly expenses and not enough money coming in, their bills began piling up. Flex was able to pinpoint exactly where things went wrong in an interview with Yahoo Finance. He said he grew up watching his mom and grandmother live check to check, and he adopted that same principle when he started to make his own money. He said at one point, he was making $25,000 a week. He was spending it all and didn't even bother to put any of it aside to pay taxes. He also spent a lot of money spoiling his wife. He said it wasn't uncommon for him to go to Burberry and put eight grand on their American Express card. With their mortgage payment totaling close to $5,000 per month, they fell behind on payments. In 2010, they found a foreclosure notice on their front door. With nowhere to go, they were forced to live at the Embassy Suites Hotel before moving in with extended family members to help split the bills. Most couples would crack under those circumstances, but Shanice and Flex said their financial situation brought them even closer together. Praying together and having open communication also helped. Shanice told Essence that when they got married, they told each other that divorce wasn't an option. They knew they were in it for the long haul, no matter what they had to face. To keep their relationship alive, even during their darkest times, Shanice said she flirts with her husband all the time. She loves telling him how beautiful he is. They also enjoy each other's company, whether they're at a nightclub or just partying at home and dancing until five o'clock in the morning. On February 14th, 2019, they celebrated their 19th anniversary and we wish them many more years of love and happiness. Let us know your thoughts on Flex and Shanice's love story and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.